<laughs> light, lack of light. What is going on there? That is annoyingly weird looking. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just put up with it for now, I guess. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's very bad. <laughs> hey there, NR031 Dispatch. There's the Barrett. <laughs> There's the, the 50 cal rifle I need. But uh, yeah, that's that's not good. That's the low force variance. You could probably take it out with a 50 cal before anything too nasty pops out. Let's find out. We has a 50 cal. Let's use it. There you go. <laughs> it was going to be a little exciting. Where'd you go? Um... Yeah, right, game. Re reset the turret. Aiming point, please. There we go. We missed from that range. That's embarrassing. Alright. Oh, are you all you all up in our business too? I don't like you can do anything to me. Alright, uh, there's the Barrett sniper rifle and a suppressor, which I can't use on the Barrett, of course. Uh, I don't remember if I have a... I think I have a shovel. We'll, we'll grab that just in case. Another entrenching tool. Nothing else interesting. And uh, this guy is never going to be using grenades or hacks, I don't think. Good strength, bad throwing. Yeah, I'm just not gonna go away, idiot crack. Oh, that's right, I'm not wearing the tool belt. Alright, we'll just get moving. Jeez. <laughs> that was like five attempts to get that thing going. <clears throat> Let's go see what's at this end point before we keep moving again. Airdrop crates. <laughs> C4 and EMP grenades. Where's my where's my MREs? 
or C4. Come on, MREs! <laughs> One MRE, look at that. <clears throat> kind of happy we got the MP grenade, the rest, eh. I don't remember it doing that weird lighting earlier when we were driving around at night. That's, that's the only thing that puzzles me. Oh, damn it. It's just another apple orchard. Alright, I have no use for an apple orchard. I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm kind of not wanting to replace my capture van. It fits the theme of what we were originally trying to do. It's just the game... Once again, I've picked a theme that the game is not allowing me to deliver on. <laughs> Refuses to uh, send me any random NPCs. I could go crank it up to another higher multiple, I guess. I might do that when we continue. Uh, we're going to have clear road. We are. Clear road up to this side of the city, huh? So the hunting's there, so I could try to go directly down the sidewalk here if, if we've got a clear route. Or I can just rollerblade from here. Bus. Gonna get pretty close. I think the forest is starting to close in on me here. Cabin, unfortunately not the magical variant. But, yeah, we just about made it there. In the vehicle, that is. Maybe I'll, I'll back off behind this cabin. And we might have time to go... Yeah, we got plenty of time. It's only 2 a.m. <laughs> I wonder how loud that beep noise is for attracting... Uh, attracting enemies. than I expected to be dealing with immediately. Um, all right, let's uh, start hitting the hitting the good stuff. And brass knuckles out and drop the backpack. And we'll clear a local area here. <laughs> God dang it. Once again, I stepped in the wrong space, and he uh, he hit the uh, the phase anchor thingy. That's hilarious. What is the um, what is the coverage on that thing? 50% coverage? Holy crap, that's horrible. Um, yeah, that's a big problem. Because at that low value and just made out of that... I think might get killed real quick. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put that thing away until we actually intend on using it slash needing it. That's gonna take hits way too often. Ah, right, it's where you go, dissolute. Get over here. Fuzzy cattail. Can I wear two cattails? Uh, 
Ooh, Slavering Biter. Do I go for a rematch with a Slavering Biter where I get the first strike? I want a rematch. Shady zombies. Whoops, oh, he's here. <laughs> Alright, so you force force him to the ground. Oh, doesn't say that he's downed. Come on. Come on. Nearly dead. There we go. 108. 108. Critical hit. 42, 55, and then finished him with 108. So that went a lot better. He actually dropped binoculars. <clears throat> That's more like it. That's what happens when I actually press the correct keys. Alright, so I think the immediate area around the vehicle is now clear. Now I need to re-gear again and slip back into my, uh, my rollerblade gear. So, we're taking... Oops, crap. Didn't mean to have that running the whole time. We're taking that off. And we're wearing my Kevlar and Duster and the sneakers. Okay, I got my roller blades. I'll switch to, and everything else is okay enough. Alright. Should have gotten something to eat before I left, but that's good. <clears throat> so, north two blocks and then east. That's a bit of a crowd. An ambulance. Might be able to get into. Without the slavering noticing me. Not bad. Bandage, bandage, antiseptic. Damn you screamers. I can see too far. Dangerously low on stamina already. <laughs> I'll just keep moving into larger groups. Alright, stop trailing me. No, don't need more of that. Whoops. Yeah, I never know how to answer the questions about <laughs> what's what's changed recently, and it's really hard for me to remember what's changed when. <clears throat> I'm just kind of too immersed. Not good. Almost got poisoned. Ah, right, we're on the east-west street. Two blocks away. If we can get lucky and have a predator free travel. Ah, damn it. That lit me up. Oh, crap. I don't have a towel. Oh, that is very bad. That is very, very bad. Why do I not have a towel? Actually, where's where's all my gear? <laughs> where, where did all my stuff go? Oh, crap. That is a really big problem. <clears throat> All my medicine and stuff is gone. 
Nah, the backpack took a hit, but it doesn't drop things. I yeah, this is this is really bad because I I'm in sight right now, out in an area where tons and tons of things can get to me. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Um, I need to get into a house or something. I need to cut down on my visibility like right damn now. Come on, door. Where's the door? Oh, it's one of these stupid houses with these big... Alright. Maybe nothing can see me here. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah! I want to know where all my crap went! <laughs> um... That is a mountain of medical items and other items that have just kind of disappeared on me. I know I swapped my gear out, but, um... We're gonna have to go all the way back. Well, I don't remember taking it off in the car. I dropped my backpack when I fought the group right outside the van. I took off the uh, the suit, but I didn't take off the backpack inside there. Oh, what am I looking for? <laughs> That's where I swapped out right after I got into the... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's where I did my, my swap out. I took on the Slavering Biter. <clears throat> Still a little earlier than that is when I started fighting. I should theoretically see a big list of things here on the ground. Right here? Real close? Right there's where I took off the backpack, and I dropped some stuff on the grass. But I put the backpack back on. Did I somehow leave with all my stuff sitting on the ground? The only thing I can think of is I, I took off and didn't pick up somehow all of my gear. <laughs> so I don't see any other explanation. So I gotta decide, do I try to push for the hunting store? That, um... Hmm. I'm, I'm about midway. <laughs> I can just stay away from the bile. Let's check. Finish checking this house real quick. At least the bathroom. Maybe there's a uh, towel in here. That's mostly what I fear is the uh, hotel. That's what I fear is getting uh, tagged by the bile. That'll it makes me blind and it uh, lights me up to everything in the area. So if I can't avoid that, that's a big, 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 big problem. Got a tourist truck or tour bus? Yeah, tour bus. Tour buses are pretty cool too. It seems so close. And if I go this way, I'm going to get poisoned. I'm just I'm just asking for trouble here. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. I'm gonna get the uh, get the gun in. 
think it's going to be more important to have the gun out and ready to go. One more block. Man, you got dazed. Punk! No perception now. Turn on a light. I'm screwed. Yeah, I don't have a flashlight either. Ah, right, yeah, this is this is all sorts of problems. All right, nothing's chasing me at the moment. Let's uh, let's let's wait out the days. <laughs> I don't have a watch either. That's not good. that's not good. A feral predator that's now eating me and I can't see. <laughs> We're gonna die. Oh, son of a... <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, this is so bad. How the hell did I manage to get all these guys come in on me when they shouldn't have been able to see me? So, we've been knocked down by a feral predator. More stuff's coming. I've got nothing. I can't see where I'm going. I'm dazed and I'm blind, essentially, unless I get back outside again. <clears throat> I've got a, uh, a gun in my hand instead of my uh, my rifle. I mean, instead of my, my knuckles. I can't see where I can move safely. And if I try to stay and fight, I'm just going to get more stuff dogpiling in on top of me. Now, what's weird is I, I stepped out. The entire front area was clear, so I stepped back in to, to hide here. And now I've got all this stuff dogpiling in through the door. That's, that's what annoys me, is there was absolutely nothing anywhere remotely up here that was attracted to me. The uh, screecher that had started to follow me was wandering back the other direction. So, my scent trail wouldn't have led them in here through that door. I, uh, I I don't know. Uh, since I can't see and I don't know what happened exactly, I can't really complain too much about it. But um, and I knew this was a dangerous situation. Stepping into the house like this was probably a really bad idea because of the vision problem. I can't flip on a flashlight to see where to go. Yeah, I, I just... Yeah. Crap, crap, crap. First I gotta stand up. I try to move. If I go to sprint mode, go out the window this way, maybe. Try to get out there and get to that. The problem is going to be the predator is going to be all over me the entire time. I don't know the layout of any other part of the house. Alternatively, I'd have to go out this way. And I've got guys waiting for me that way, too. Not, not too dangerous, but what is that going to be like? One, ooh, we got a, a chipmunk I might be able to use for a distraction. But uh, figure one, two, three, four, five, about six. One, two, three, and it's not too much of a difference between the two. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. <laughs> this seems like a good break time while I ponder how I'm going to go about this. We might get out of here easily, scot free. We might. Uh, we might get steamrolled. It's it's really hard to tell given the limited information I've got. We're not in too much damage yet, but we're knocked down. It's going to take me time to get up. The days is going to screw me a little bit. So yeah, there's a few opportunities here. So we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna go get some tea. Maybe have a cup of cookies, and um, we will we'll be back and see how this goes. So I'll see folks here in just a short bit.
I'll leave zombie dog keep dying you. And I'm going to run a quick commercial while I'm gone. So enjoy.
Okay, I'm back. Um, so... Nothing occurred to me while I was gone. <laughs> it's just gonna come down to... A bit of luck. I either have to make the decision to immediately take off the rollerblades and fight. Preferably dump rollerblades, dump backpack, and then fight <laughs> as much as comes at me. Or try to run for it and just hope that I don't get tagged while I'm trying to run for it and knock down constantly while the predator rips me apart. That's pretty much the two choices. So, I don't know. Either way, it's going to be pretty bad. What do you think, zombie dog, while you chew on your gorilla? What do I get? I get a... I get a monkey. Mmm... There you go. Ah, ouchie, ouchie, a little warm. All right, what do you think, zombie dog? One more? One more. All right, that's it. We're all done. No more cookies. All right, goodbye, zombie dog. So, yeah, that's the situation. My backpack's going to get shredded if I leave it on, and it makes fighting harder if I do decide to stand and wail away. The other thing is, I am not drunk. So I'm not going to be able to get the uh, the big damage in. Yeah, this is just bad. <laughs> My instinct is to run, but I don't know. We were worse off earlier, so it hasn't gone totally south yet. Alright, switch to run mode. Unfortunately, we're going to burn some stamina, and we're just going to have to hope. Oh, man. No, nope, we're dead. We're gonna die right here. I can't I can't even stand up. Is it just him? Feral Runner and Feral Predator both? And I can't see where they're at. I think I'm surrounded. I can't see the squares around me, so I think I'm trying to move into something and they're just knocking me down. Alright, so... Switch plan. Drop. Backpack. <laughs> Ow. Drink. Gin. <laughs> that also took too much. Drink. And we've almost lost our arm already. Can't see a thing. Drop. HK. And um, bare knuckle fight. So that's the predator. I think I'm hitting it directly. Crap. Did I just move? <laughs> I can't see anything. Feral predator, tough zombie. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I have no idea what direction the feral predator is. Alright, I think we're going to be going out right here. I knew better. I knew better. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, you. Zombie dog, you already had your treat. Go away. Don't try to sneak up on me. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that does help. Our predator is one to the south. Hopefully it's direct. Yeah, it should say southwest or southeast. So, the devourer could also be getting me. But the predator is by far the most dangerous, so... Good call. <laughs> Just so much. Did we get him? We got the predator. 
Now for everything else. We haven't lost a, a limb yet. Not quite. And the worst of them are down. Let's go for... I need to kill the Devourer next. I think he's the only other one that can hit me currently. I'm getting knocked down because of the uh, the roller blades constantly, so I'm wishing I could take the time to uh, slip them off, but um, yeah, about to lose our arms. I think it's the uh, the devourer that's doing it. We're we're about out of uh, all of our stats. And we got more stuff around us now. So, yeah. Well. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Still didn't kill it. Alright, well, we killed one more. But uh, it's not going to save me. That, um... Where'd the dissolute go? Hmm. <laughs> Did it step away somehow, or did I move a space and now it's one it's out of my, my area? I'm all sorts of confused. Where's my, my suit? <laughs> where's, where's, where's my suit? Uh... Did they shred my suit off of me? There's no way they shredded my suit off of me. Is that why I'm just getting roasted? Where, where's my suit? Well, I couldn't wear my suit. That's right. I was wearing normal stuff. Never mind. I, I was misremembering. So I was on my rollerblades, duster, stuff. That's why I'm taking so much damage. For some reason, I had it in my brain. I had on the uh, the suit still. And I was immune to the low-level stuff. That is not the case. So, yeah, we're not going to get out of this. We're going to die right here. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's my own damn fault. I knew it was going to be a problem. I was pushing my luck. I made a couple of mistakes. First, dropping all my stuff. Second, uh, trying to hide in a in a, a house when I had no visibility. And um, yeah, it was just a bad combination with some bad luck mixed in. So, <laughs> oh, he won't be alive for long. <laughs> oh, you mean for the face? Yeah. <laughs> So everything's hitting me for damage, so there's just no way I'm going to survive this. Were I in the other suit, we, we'd actually probably be okay right now like we were before. But, um, it's not going to happen this time. I've got stamina. Could I actually walk my way out of here? So if I went, I can't go northeast or northwest, but I might be able to go southeast. But I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna bleed to death. Well, I do have bandages still. I think I'm. Am I? Am I downed? Yeah, I'm downed. They're gonna get me before I can get back up again. I think. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Not with strength six now and all the other stats being zero. And my speed being 39. I I just can't stay ahead of anything with speed 39. It's not going to happen. So, I won't be able to break the grab. They're going to keep knocking me down. Yeah, we're, we're dead. <laughs> There's just no way out of this. Not going to happen. There's too many things that have gone wrong already. With the speed of 39, it's just impossible for me to run away. I'm only going to get one attack per round. And um, that's not going to kill anything. So it wasn't just a predator. It was I had four or five things on me. A whole horde showed up. I mean, like I said I, earlier, there was nothing up here. Nothing up here had been had been been attracted to me. Nothing. Scent cloud was chasing me. I came to hide in this little room, and a whole horde comes down through the door and uh, eats me. So I don't understand exactly what happened there. <clears throat> I wasn't making any noise, 
scent cloud would have dissipated. So, oh well, one of those things. I was hoping to get a little more fun with the um, the the suit that we had found. So, all right, well let's let's pick something to punch. There's no no sense in waiting. <laughs> I, I got no gear that's going to help me here. Yeah, none of it's going to help me. So let's uh, let's punch the feral hunter to the east. Hit him for twenty seven. Still alive. <laughs> no no hit point bars. Right arm's gone. Still haven't killed him. <laughs> and we still haven't killed him. I don't know what's going on. Am I doing no damage? It's all, it's all red messages. <laughs> we're probably... Oh yeah, we're not doing any damage because our strength is so low now. So many things went wrong there. One more run, or one more hit will we'll do us in. I was really hoping to kill that feral hunter. Still alive? Ah, he gained hit points! <laughs> How did he gain hit points? Feral hunters have regen? That's funny. Oh. There we go! <laughs> Uh, Rip Duncan Milkfagan. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> Can't blame anybody but me on that one. Got a little overconfident with the rolling around town. Curse of the Remo. Yeah. <laughs> you do seem to uh, show up for the, the less fun bits. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get much of the delicatessen part of the challenge done. But part of this run was just demonstrating the brokenness of the uh, the drunk and unarmed combat. So, <laughs> the very very broken combo for anybody that doesn't know that and um, thinks they've discovered some mystical, special, <laughs> secret thing. It's, it's known, it's been known for a while, and it's it's very broke. So we were uh, we were demonstrating that, and uh, like I said, I, I really like that phase immersion suit. I was starting to have some fun with that and figure out some ways of putting it to use. So that thing must be really, really either somewhat new or uh, really rare because I've never seen that um, that finale before or seen that item before. So I can't imagine it's specific to just that one vertical tower uh, location. I guess it could be. But uh, I can't imagine it that it would be. Um, but yeah, Duncan Milkfagan's done. No, no way to uh, recover from this one. This was pretty much just a little bad luck combined with a couple of bad decisions on my part. I still want to know where my gear is. Actually, I am going to Alt F4 this. I just want to teleport back and look at see if my gear is laying on the ground. If I was really that dumb, so we're gonna we're gonna Alt F4 this. Relaunch. <laughs> I just want to verify my uh, my my dumbness, the level of Vormithrax stupidity in this particular death. No, I didn't survive fifty days. <laughs> we started on day thirty-five. <laughs> it was fifteen days or whatever whatever our last day was. We started on a late start so that we would have the evolved zombies right from the beginning. How do you counter the mech robots in the National Guard place? Well, here's here's how. First, you go into World Gen and you disable National Security Guard <laughs> or National Guard locations. There's just no point to that place. It's an unfinished, un OP, unbalanced, silly place. <laughs> There's no reward for going there. Even in power armor, you'll get shot to death. Unless, I guess, heavy power armor might be able to take the uh, the shots. But um, there's just no reason to go there. By the time you could survive it, there's absolutely nothing you're going to find there that um, <laughs> you would uh, find interesting anyway. So, Which is true of, unfortunately, most of the end locations for Cataclysm. Rarely are they worth the danger of going there. Alright, 
All I care about, we're just going to teleport back to my my vehicle area here. I just want to know, is my, is my gear laying on the ground? Because I thought I dropped my pack, like, over here. Yeah, my stuff's not here. But that's the only place. I mean, we looked through my, my log. This is the only place where it should have been. Because I dropped my pack, I killed these local zombies, I put it back on. We came in here and I, I swapped out... Hey there, fell predator. I swapped out... Uh, hey, fell predator, meet, kill all monsters. Is it all sitting here in the basket? Yep, it's all in the basket. Alright. So apparently I did something funny. Earlier uh, when I was moving things around and when I was I was doing whatever. I must have been standing here and they all hit the uh, hit the ground. So that's why I didn't notice. Alright. My bad. I remember I was I was switching out my gear. I don't remember taking the backpack off, but I must have. Um because I, I took off the phase immersion suit and then was putting back on the um the other pieces of clothing. So I just don't remember dropping the uh, the backpack or causing a change in my carry capacity that would have dropped all my items. But um, apparently I did somehow. Whatever I did, I'm not even going to bother to go back to look at the, uh, the info. But um, yeah, there it is. Two or three items in that group would have saved me in that situation had it not been silly enough to, uh, to do that. So, totally my fault. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's look at this one more time. Uh, actually, it's 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 over here. <laughs> Come here, phase immersion suit. And give me that five that that furnace thing again too. Uh, did I drop it elsewhere? Apparently, I dropped it elsewhere. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I miss the face suit. Really cool stuff. I like its uh, its balance of uh, stats, positives, negatives, and so on. I think it's a really cool item. So, you're always stuck with the 20 encumbrance, but for that 20 encumbrance, you get 100% uh, coverage on all the body parts, 12-12, 30-30, so you're immune to acid completely, you're immune to normal fire being near it at least. Environmental jumps to 80 when you activate this thing. Plus you get shock immunity. Plus you get radiation immunity. Plus you get all the immunities to all the field effects, essentially. Um, plus you get uh, the night vision. So it's it's pretty major. So where did I find that suit? I found it in a finale room at the top of the office tower. It's a lab finale. Uh, I don't know what to, what to call that finale room. Maybe the extra dimensional research finale. But um, it's kind of what it's for. It's uh, It had a hound of Tindalos guarding the, the area. A couple of uh, amigos in there. It's The idea behind it, story-wise or lore-wise, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the facilities where the scientists, the human scientists, were experimenting with extra-dimensional travel. So they made the phase immersion suit and that, um, that anchor device to uh, protect and uh, help out their, their volunteers that were uh, going to extra-dimensional travel. And um, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen it, so I'm not sure how new it is. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Hopefully, hopefully we run across it again in another playthrough, and um, we can put it to good use. Because you can do a lot of fun, go to a lot of fun places when you've got the protections that it offers. So... Unfortunately, we didn't get a we didn't get the opportunity to this time due to silliness on Vorm's part. That's all right. I felt a little bad with playing this one <laughs> because of the uh, the drunk, <laughs> the broken drunken thing. I could have min maxed the hell out of that and done even more, but um, I decided to only do a three quarter broken mechanic e <laughs> examination instead of a a uh, full on really 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 abuse it. <laughs> 